this in this video what we are going to see is uh, regarding the array data structures we are going to see so here an array is a collection of homogeneous data items so for example here all are of the type characters or if you want to store all the elements within this array should be of integers so and they are stored in the continuous location that is contiguous memory location so then in the next next locations you are storing this data so an array is a collection of homogeneous means the data type which you are storing inside should be of the same type and they are stored in the continuous memory location so like a contiguous memory location so for example if x of 100 is an array of type integer it it can store only 100 integer values continuously in this example what we have done is x of 10 which is 10 characters in the continuous memory locations we are storing and once it is defined as x of 10, the length of the array is to be of 10, 10 then we cannot store more we, it, uh, the following diagram represents an array of 10 characters the index starts from 0 to 9 so the each element inside the array can be extracted and accessed by using the index so an array normally in all the languages an array starts from 0 so here also we take the same thing so it starts in c plus plus it starts from 0 so we'll consider the same thing so the array index starts from 0 so up to 9 which means 10 elements are there inclusive of 10 and this we call it as index and when we put it inside the square bracket giving the name of the array we call it as a subscript now when we see the advantages of an array it allows random access of its elements so for example if i am going to access x of 4 i can directly access this x of 7 i can access directly h so that is a main advantage in this array so it's a random access and immediate access also the main disadvantage is the size of the array once declared at the beginning cannot be extended it cannot be increased so in the previous example when we have declared it as x of 10 which ranges from 0 to 9 then we cannot store x uh, that is the last uh, another element we cannot increase so for example x of 0 to x of 9 then x of 10 x of 11 and so on we cannot store it will give array index out of bound error so you cannot extend so it is fixed the size of the array is fixed initially so even if you want to increase its size it cannot be done that is the main drawback and one more thing if you are uh, declaring the array to be of size say for example x of 100 and we store only 10 elements then the remaining elements the remaining memory locations will be wasted because once we declare it as x of 100 100 continuous memory locations will be allocated for that particular array so if we are going to store only 10 elements the remaining 90 locations will be wasted this is another drawback the basic operations in an array are traversal that is it prints each and every element one by one then insertion if you want to insert an element at a given index deletion if you want to delete a particular element then searching of an element then update the existing element can be updated given the index now consider uh, insertion in a particular place in the given example let us consider this is the array given that is x of 10 where it ranges from 0 to 9 and the look, uh, uh, values which are stored inside are given here now what we are going to do is we are going to insert element 35 to be added at index 3 now how it can be done so let us consider we are going to insert it in a uh, sorted value or whatever it is given the index 3 we are going to insert it 
uh, inside this value 35. Now, what we have to do is we have to move the element 40 to the next location and 50 to the next and so on. And now we can place the value or else we will lose the value. That is overwriting. But we want insertion. Insertion means these values will be moved right. So here what we have done is the value 35 is inserted and the value which is present in 3 is moved to 4 from 4 to 5 and so on. So the values are moved right with the last element value may be last. It will, because it occupies, it can have only 10 elements. Suppose it, it can have 20 elements means this 90 will be moved to the 10th position so that the values will not be last. Deletion. Deletion can be done by moving towards left. So here we are going to delete the value present at the position 4. So this 40 has to be deleted. So how it can be done by overwriting. So this element, element from the 5th place moves to 4. 6 to 5 and so on like this. So now after doing that, the value will be uh, moved up. So this we call it as a deletion because since it is overwritten, 40 is overwritten, it is no more, it will not, it no more exist.